Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about Secure Hash Algorithm. We also say it as SHA, okay? And this algorithm is the base of blockchain. This algorithm is mostly used in blockchain for some specific use case over there. Uh, I'll, tell you, I'll show you some of the examples with respect to that also. And this algorithm is pretty much amazing, guys, because if we take some information and if we try to apply a hashing algorithm onto it, it is very, very difficult to crack. You know, you cannot just again come back with the same information again. Uh, we'll be discussing about that. What are the properties of this kind of hash algorithms and all? Before that, let's see some example with respect to this. So here we have an amazing GitHub link from Anders94. So over here, uh, this person has actually shown a blockchain demo you know, from this particular URL. This URL is also available over here. You can just click over here and you can see this. This is an amazing algorithm. Uh, and they are different kind of secure hash algorithm. We say something like SHA-256. We have SHA-384, SHA-224, SHA-512, SHA-1, okay? I'll just tell you one example of SHA-256, why it is basically called as 256. And just by understanding this, you'll be able to understand why do we call this algorithm as SHA-384, 224, 512, and many more, right? So we're going to discuss about all these kind of algorithms and we'll also see how we can implement it with the help of Python programming language. Now let's proceed without wasting any time. Now, first of all, I'll just go to this particular demo and show it to you. Right now, default nothing, no information is present inside this particular data. And here you can see that there is a default uh, hash key, okay? And this is basically implemented by SHA-256. Now, why this is called as SHA-256, I'll just tell you an example. Before going ahead with respect to this particular video, this video has been sponsored by Anacademy. So Anacademy has come up with this Java Average 2.0, C++ Average 2.0, and Python Average 2.0, which are complete courses in competitive programming. If you really want to know more about this particular thing, this is nothing but a 10 month batch course, which will give a learner the end to end subject master expertise required to get placed in fan companies, create tech products from scratch and crack international coding context. Here you can also see all the topics from intermediate to beginner to advanced. Advanced courses will be added soon, but here you can see all the topics like O N square sorting algorithm, more sort counting inversion and many more like this. You can also check out the complete schedule with respect to this. One more interesting thing about it, this is that guys, you will be able to see that the instructor that is Ria Bansal, uh, Deepak Gaur, Arjun Arul, and Sanket Singh and Arnab Chakraborty, they are working in some amazing product-based companies which will definitely help you to guide towards competitive programming and crack interview jobs. If you're going ahead with the six, to, six, to, six months to 12 months subscription, you'll get also get an attempt to at Code Chef's DSA exam. And if you're planning to take up the subscription, guys, uh, please do use KN06 code so that you'll be able to get 10% off from this particular subscription. So if you really want to find out more information regarding this, all the information will be given in the description of this particular video. Please go ahead and check it out. Now, suppose I'll write Krish over here. Now, as soon as I write Krish over here, you see that the entire information has been changed. Now, what happens is that if I try to just add one character, you'll be able to see that this entire thing will change. Okay, so see this, if I write Krish 1, everything, each and every character is basically getting changed in this particular algorithm. So it is very, very difficult to crack, you know, and this technique is also called as Alvenche effect. Now Alvenche effect basically means that whenever I just change the data with something like with, with at least a additional character like comma or full stop, you'll be able to see that this entire character is basically getting changed. And why do we call it as SHA-256? Why is this 256 coming over here? Understand guys, over here, the total number of characters that you'll be able to see over here, if you count it, it is somewhere around 64 characters. And each character is basically represented by four bytes, right? So when I say four bytes, you can say that four into eight is nothing but 32 bits. So each character is basically stored in 32 bits. If you want to take an example of 256, see each character is represented by four bytes, four multiplied by uh, 64, it is nothing but 256, right? So 256 characters over here, sorry, 64 characters over here, each character is being represented by four bytes and each byte is represented by eight bits. So each character internal storage will be somewhere around 32 bits. So that is the reason why we call it as 256, okay? Again, let me repeat it. You can see the total number of characters over here are 64, characters each character is basically having 
four bytes. So four into sixty four is nothing but two fifty six. Right. So all this particular information. Similarly, if you go with SHA five to L, then again the number of characters will be changing with respect to this. Now let me just show you some more example. If I try to write more information, you can see that uh, the entire information is changed. Now see this. I'll write one. Okay, one. Or just let me write uh, something like child. Okay. So child over here, you can see that this is the hash key. Here you can see the characters are like DDC ending with nine A three. Now if I just try to add only one character, the entire information is changing. and this is called as alvanche effect this is the base in the blockchain because if i take an example here you can see the blockchain demo also if i click on the block over here this is how a blockchain is represented in my blockchain you know a blockchain is nothing but it is a combination of blocks okay again we are not detailedly discussing about blockchain probably i'll create a separate playlist for that but if you really want to understand about blockchain blockchain is nothing but it is a growing chain of blocks okay and inside the blocks you have like block sequence number you have nonce number used or number once used something like that it is uh, here you it is we basically say it as nonce then here you have the data in this particular data and then you actually create this hash key okay when you basically mine a block you know it is basically you are creating a new hash key and this hash key is basically generated by using this sha256 uh sha256 algorithm okay but again i'll be discussing more about it in my probably in my blockchain playlist but the thing that i really want to show you over here is that we'll try to see how to implement this sha256 sha384 sha224 and all with the help of python okay so to begin with first of all i'm what i'm going to do is that i'm going to import hashlib here and this is the library that will be having all the sha algorithms right what is the sha algorithm it is nothing but secure hash algorithms and different different algorithms are there like you have sha 256 384 224 512 and sha 1 so first of all i'm just going to uh, write a string so i'm writing a string over here as krishna ek now if i really want to apply a sha uh, algorithm into this so first of all what are the process of hashing first of all we need to encode this entire string in order to encode it what i have done is that i've just written str1.encode right and then i'm using hashlib.256 dot uh, sha256 that sha256 is basically my hashing function and this will basically convert that into uh, 64 uh, characters like how we have actually converted over here okay so here you can basically write over here hashlib.sha256 str1.encode and once i print this hashed value here it will show that okay this is basically my hash object at this specific lo memory location now if it is present in this specific memory location if i really want to see that particular hash key i have to convert this into hexadecimal in order to convert this into hexadecimal we used a inbuilt function inside this hashed value which is called as hex digest now once i use this you will be able to see that it will be creating this kind of 64 character so once i execute it here you can see this one now probably i just want to change the string with one value if i execute now and if i execute this hex digest now you will be seeing that the entire value will be changing okay entire value but the length will be almost same because we are using sha256 right similarly if i try to apply with sha384 now just a interview question for you in sha384 you know when we say 384 just imagine that what will be the length of this particular string that is getting generated and uh, probably see every every uh, character over here is having four bytes right so four multiplied by something will be 384 and that will basically be the length and probably i think four multiplied by uh, four times the 36 if i if i say uh, the length of this will be 96 characters if you don't believe me just see this guys i'll write length of ha hashed value dot hex digest and in order to apply sha 284 i'll again use this ha hash lib and use this sha384 okay sha sha384 is again an inbuilt function which will be converting this into hashing algorithm by using this technique and then if i execute it now you can see the length of this is 96 so 96 multiplied by 4 is nothing but 384 right so here i'm just going to execute and if i really want to see the value here you are having the entire value here similarly with respect to sha224 now you can also suggest that how much what will be the length of this if you want to apply this all you have to do is that hashlib dot sha224 you just have to write and here you will be getting and then you have sha512 again 512 is also there now where is this kind of sha algorithms getting used sha algorithms may be getting used in different different uh, um, blockchain technology probably in ethereum we may be using a different one 
probably uh, uh, in uh, Ripple, we may be using a different one. So different kind of hashing algorithms are used in different, different things. If you want to consider the example of blockchain and Bitcoin, uh, right now, you know, Bitcoin price is like peak, <laughs> it's going up. Uh, so there it is basically it's the SHA-256 is being used. Okay. So this was some example. Probably if you really want to send some information by using this hashing algorithm, also you can do it because it is available completely with the help of Python. So all this information, GitHub, it will be provided in the GitHub ring. And yes, I'll be showing you some of the examples of blockchain, how to create a blockchain with the help of Python. Now, because of the SHA algorithm, right, you guys, companies are using Python also for creating blockchain technologies. You know, tomorrow, if you have an idea and probably you want to do it, yes, you can also definitely use Python programming language for this because you have this kind of hashing algorithm available. One example of blockchain mining, if you really want to see, suppose this is my information, probably uh, Krish wants to send his friend um, because inside this, you know, inside a blockchain, there are data that is getting captured is basically called as transaction. Don't worry, I'll probably try to create a, so I, I want to probably send 250 Bitcoins. I'm just telling an example, okay? So this is the transaction that is being getting captured in the data. I'll probably create a very good playlist on blockchain. Um, and once I click on mine, so after mining, right, it will try to find out a suitable hash key. Unless and until you don't find a suitable hash key, this blockchain will not be mined. So once it gets successfully mined, the miner will be getting bitcoins in rewards. You know, it will be getting bitcoins in reward. And apart from this, this transaction will also happen. Okay. And this entire block will be added to the blockchain once it is mined successfully. So there are a lot of things that we need to discuss about blockchain. So which I will probably create a, a playlist for that. But I hope you got an idea about SHA that is secure hash algorithms. You can use it for various purpose, uh, whichever you like. So in this video, we have seen SHA-256, SHA-384, SHA-224, 512 and SHA-1. SHA-1 also, if you want to use it, all you have to do is that just copy this, paste it over here. Instead of writing SHA-512, you can basically write SHA-1 and here is basically your entire key or the hash key that is basically getting generated. So I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, Wanda. Bye-bye.